Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the polymerase chain reaction or in short, we called it as PCR. PCR is an analytical technique or a device used in genome analysis to create several copies of a certain DNA segments. Now this polymerase chain reaction was developed by Carey Mullis. Now let's discuss on which principle does PCR works. So the PCR technique is based on the enzymatic replication of DNA. In PCR, a short segment of DNA is amplified using primer mediated enzymes. In PCR, DNA polymerase synthesizes new strands of DNA complementary to the template DNA. The DNA polymerase can add a nucleotide to the pre-existing 3-OH group. Therefore, a primer is required and which add nucleotide to the 3 dash end of the DNA template. Components which are required in PCR are DNA template, DNA polymerase, oligonucleotide primers, DNTPs, or we call it as deoxynucleotide triphosphate or the buffer system. These are all the components which are required in PCR technique. Let's discuss about the different steps used in PCR. There are basically three steps of PCR. The first step of PCR is denaturation. In denaturation, the double stranded DNA molecule will broken down into the single stranded DNA strands. Now, the second step of PCR is annealing. In this step, the primer attached to the single stranded DNA molecule. Now, the third step of PCR is elongation. In this step, the elongation of new strand will occur by adding of DNTPs on the side of the 3 dash of primer by the help of DNA polymerase enzyme. So, these are the three different steps of PCR. Now, let's discuss all these three steps of PCR in more detail. The first step of PCR is denaturation. The name suggests denaturation is something to be broken down. Now, the temperature in denaturation is raised to 94 degrees Celsius to 97 degrees Celsius for approximately 2 minutes. At high temperature, the hydrogen bonds between the DNA strands breaks and the double-stranded DNA converts into the single-stranded DNA. Now, the single stranded DNA will act as a template for the production of new strands of DNA. Now, let's discuss about the second step of PCR which is annealing. In annealing, the temperature is lower to 54 to 60 degrees Celsius for 20 to 40 seconds. Now, in this step, primers bind to the complementary sequence of the template strand. Primers are single stranded sequences of DNA or RNA about 20 to 30 base pairs in length. Primer serve as the starting point for DNA synthesis. The two separate strands run in opposite direction and consequently there are two primers which are involved in this process. The third step of PCR is elongation. In elongation, the temperature is raised to 72 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. Now, in this step, bases are added to the 3 dash prime end of the primer by the help of tag polymerase enzyme. Now, this tag polymerase enzyme is a kind of DNA polymerase enzyme which help to initiate the adding of DNTPs on the 3 dash end of primer. Now, the 
प्रोसेस ऑफ एलोंगेशन ऑफ डी एन ए विल अकर इन दी फाइव डैश टू थ्री डैश डायरेक्शन डी एन ए पॉलीमरीज मे एड्स अप टू थाउजेंड बेस पेयर पर मिनट अंडर द ऑप्टिम कंडीशंस एंड वी विल गेट दी आर डिजायर्ड डी एन ए स्ट्रेंड्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पी सी आर पी सी आर आर यूज इन टेस्टिंग ऑफ जेनेटिक डिजीज और म्यूटेशंस इट डिटेक्ट डिजीज कॉजिंग जीन इन पेरेंट इट ऑल्सो यूज इन जीन मैपिंग इट हेल्प्स इन एनालिसिस ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन इट आइडेंटिफाई द क्रिमिनल्स इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस इट्स ऑल्सो यूज एज ए टूल इन जेनेटिक फिंगर प्रिंटिंग it also used to identify relationship between different individuals or it also help in the paternity testing so these are the applications of pcr